Hi, I'm Francesco Pinelli. I play for the Kitchener Rangers. Um, I'm centerman, and my hometown is Stony Creek, Ontario. Francesco Pinelli picks it up with some speed. Pinelli into the slot. Pinelli shoots, he scores! Francesco Pinelli rips it past Spralia. 3-0 Kitchener. Um, I'm a two-way center, uh, well-rounded in the D zone, but also in the offensive zone. Um, I'm creative, um, I have a good shot, and I think my vision is my, my strongest attribute. Um, I can see the game very well, and I, I, I process it at a fast pace, so um, I can slow the game down, but also speed the game up with my vision and passing ability. So. I played soccer since um, I don't know, probably like two, and I, I you know, I, I kind of I stopped playing at the age of 14. I had to come to the decision uh, whether I want to continue with soccer, or hockey, as it was getting really busy. Um, we were traveling a lot in soccer and also in hockey, and I was playing in Toronto, so um, I had to make a decision. I, I followed my dreams of hockey, and um, that's where I love, so I, I continued it and followed my dream. As the Kitchen Rangers are flying, Pinelli, what a move by Pinelli, and he scores with it! Francesco Pinelli, that is a highlight real level goal, and Kitchener gets their first lead of the game, three to two. Him and McDonald, two of the top five rookie scorers in the OHL. The OHL uh, league has prepared me for the upcoming NHL draft um, in many different ways. I mean, it's a great league. It's probably the best league in, in, in the world for junior. Um, and Kitchener's really prepared me and, and showed me how to become um, a well-rounded player in my D zone and also in the offensive zone. So I think they helped me out a ton um, with their development. It's, it's a great organization. I'm, I'm very happy with um, where I landed. So yeah. Oh uh, yeah, my, the coaching staff has been awesome to me. Um, Mike, Mike McKenzie is a very good coach. Um, he showed me kind of how to, you know, um, play in the D zone and, and, and then once you play in the D zone, you get to go in the offensive zone and have some fun. But um, yeah, there's, there's so many so many good uh, tips and, and stuff they gave me uh, throughout my time in Kitchener last year. And um, just doing little stuff after practices, like one tees with uh, Carlson and, and, and Coach Carlson and kind of stuff like that. They kind of, you know, show me how to pick up little things uh, that matter, and I think that's that's really big. Pinelli plays it back for Holden Whale. Axel Bergqvist cross size. Pinelli shoots. He scores. Pinelli oh, hits another for Pinelli. And Pinelli shown he's got himself a great set of hands. Yeah, I describe this year as kind of it's 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 kind of weird um, and and different. Uh, I went overseas to play um, for Yetsenitsa in Slovenia, so. Um, you know, uh, it's kind of different for sure. I'd be back in, in Kitchener, but that wasn't what happened. The OHL didn't start, so um, I had to make, make you know, use of what I had. And I went overseas and played, and, and I was feeling really excited just to get the chance to play hockey. And uh, me and new teammates and coaching staff was really cool. Um, obviously, I didn't have a car. I had to cook and I had to cook and do all that kind of stuff. So um, when I had free time, I was kind of just um, relaxing in my apartment on my own, so or calling my family on FaceTime or whatever. So there wasn't much to do, but um, it was a great experience overall. And I, it, it was amazing. I mean, um, to, to get the chance to play against older guys was was awesome for me. And um, to see how I play against just OHL players and guys that are older than me, I thought it was really, really good to see how I play. And uh, yeah, it was a really good experience for me. Not given a whole lot of space this time. Here's a giveaway by Liam Ross. Pinelli shot scores, and what a goal by Francesco Pinelli as the Rangers take the lead. Man, oh man. Uh, when I get Jeff to the NHL, I mean, I'll be feeling like, I don't know, I can't really explain it because it hasn't happened yet, but when the time comes, I mean, um, it's going to be incredible to dream come true and to get drafted. That's everything I worked for my whole life. So my, obviously my family and my friends that supported me throughout my, my journey. Um, so just, yeah, kind of going back, Thank all my coaches that taught me little things and um, showed me kind of um, how to play the game properly and is probably one of the biggest things. So um, yeah, just kind of everyone that supported me. Um, I can't really recall like when I started thinking about the NHL, but I mean, it's kind of been a day one thing for, forever. I mean, I've always watched the Toronto Maple Leafs play and um, all the NHL teams play. So watching them really inspired me to, you know, continue with hockey and um, I really love the sport. So I followed my dream and um, you know, I continue to work hard and yeah.